Hello, hello my friends. Happy Sunday. I am really excited to share this video with you today because we are going to be talking about my top 10 spring candle suggestions going into 2023. And not only is this just fun to share what my favorites are, but this is a collaboration video with my friend Connor over at Connor Loves Candles. Now, Connor and I both have a similar, like, I would say our channels are about the same age. We both started our YouTube channels in early 2022. And you know what? We've been pretty supportive of one another. I think that we discovered each other's channels. I wanna say it was like last fall maybe. And um, we've just been very supportive of one another. This. This journey of, um, I want to say, sharing these opinions on YouTube can be a little bit frightening, quite honestly, to step out and put yourself out there because especially in the fragrance world, I mean, what I smell might not be what you smell. Um, and I've come to appreciate that there are such a variety of noses within the fragrance community because, you know, there's different strokes for different folks. And um, I actually find myself following a lot of people on here who maybe don't have the same fragrance preferences as me. And I think that that's a good thing because sometimes it encourages me to step outside of my comfort zone um, and it also gives me a little bit more wisdom in purchasing things going forward because especially in this economy we're all watching our dollars so um, yes, Connor and I have been talking a lot over on Instagram and we decided let's go ahead and do a collaboration together so Thank you very much, Connor, for doing this video with me. Make sure that um, after you check out this video, I will have his linked in the description box down below. Please make sure that you go over and say hello to him, check out his video. He really, really loves spring scents. He loves florals and stuff like that. So he's probably gonna have some really good suggestions. Neither of us know what we have selected. So I'm really curious myself to see what he picked out. So also just a quick welcome if you are coming over here from Connor's channel. Hello, my name is Katie. I am 38 years old. I am a home fragrance, predominantly candles. I don't really do any wax melts, um, but I love candles. I'm not particularly, I, I would say that there's a few that I regularly purchase from, but I wouldn't say that I have like blind loyalty to any one brand in particular. Um, I also like to talk about a little bit of beauty here on my channel. So if you find yourself wanting to stick around at some point throughout this video, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button on your way out. And I just wanna say thank you for heading on over here to check out this video. All right, let's not waste any time because I've got 10 really good candles to talk about here. So these candles are not in any particular order. They, um, they're kind of just, well, let me say here. I will say that probably the last three candles I'm gonna talk about are like my three ride or die. Like I definitely have these in my collection every spring, but um, there's a couple of these here that, well, I'm just gonna say they're all pretty good. So let's see, which one do I want to lead off with here? You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with a Kringle candle here because this is a scent that I kind of almost feel like I'm cheating a little bit on this and you'll hear why in just a minute. So. One of my favorite fragrances in the springtime is Kringle Candles Essentials. Now this was released last year. This was a 2022 spring release. And this fragrance is very reminiscent of Capri Blue Volcano. Um, if you are familiar with Bath & Body Works Sun Washed Citrus, they're, they're pretty similar. They're in that same vein. Um, this is just a very fresh, um, it's a citrus note without being overly dominant orange or lemon or lime. Um, this is just like you cleaned your house, you opened up your windows. It's very welcoming. I always get a lot of compliments on this scent. It's not cloying or headache inducing. Now, the reason that I'm recommending this candle above the other two candles that I feel like share a, say, a similar fragrance to it, the Bath & Body Works and the Capri Blue, is because this soy formula, this is just the 100% soy wax formula, is my absolute favorite. It's very clean burning. I don't really deal with sooting issues. The strength and throw is pretty decent on this one. Um, this one is actually one that I had last year. I, I kind of was like late to the party last year. And so I only burned it, you know, a few times, but I'm glad that I still have it in my collection. And you better believe I am going to start burning it here pretty soon. Another candle, let's see, that I have really been enjoying is 
uh, well, is this new? No, it's not. This was released in a different format over on QVC from Homeworks last summer. And um, it has returned to the homeworks.shop website. This is Sparkling Citrus from Homeworks. Now the fragrance notes on this one are fresh squeezed orange, mango, pineapple juice, and sugar cane. Now I have talked about, have I talked about this one? Maybe not. I get confused, you guys, sometimes because I have a series every Saturday where I, t I call it the Saturday Six and I talk about three beauty products and three candles that I have been burning and um, just give you some mini reviews and thoughts about them. And so I can't remember if I've already done a video with this one in it or if I'm planning to because I I'm just burning through a lot sometimes and I think, okay, I've got to include this. Anyways, this scent oh it's very pretty um it's i wouldn't say that it's um it's not overly summery citrus to me which is why i'm putting it in the category of being a good spring fragrance here you definitely do get some of that citrus note in here it almost comes off more i think the the mango and the orange and pineapple almost give not necessarily a grapefruit vibe but it's like not one of those notes is really dominant to my nose in this this one actually almost takes on um a slight peachy scent when it is burning um much to the chagrin of my husband because he hates peach scents <laughs> but i love it i absolutely love this fragrance it's very clean it's soft um, not in terms of like meaning like the strength and throw on it because the strength and throw on this one has been pretty decent for me, but it's a soft fragrance that is not going to be cloying or headache inducing. It's very, very pretty. One that I feel like is a safe bet if you are entertaining people in your home, unless they, you know, have an allergy to citrus fragrances, but it's not, I, I like this because it's not an overly one citrus note dominant scent. It's just very clean but pretty. It's not like your house cleaner clean. It's just a beautiful scent. So I would highly recommend this one for the springtime. All right. Another scent that I picked up recently is this Yankee Candle Easter Bouquet. Now I'm just going to tell you the packaging alone screams springtime to me. The colors like this, this pastel vibe with the floral on it absolutely stunning on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and look up the fragrance notes on this one. The top notes are ozone, apple, and melon. The mid notes are tulips, cyclamen, hyacinth, and peony. And the base is a creamy musk on this. Now I like this one because it is a floral. However, it is not, it's not a super heady floral. Now, if you, if you are new to my channel here, what you may not know is that I typically am not I wouldn't say that I naturally gravitate towards floral scents. I'm getting there and I am actually learning to appreciate them a little bit more, especially this time of year, because I'm not really going to be one to burn, to burn florals in fall or winter or even really in summer. Um, I'm a very seasonal burner. I also live in Arizona, so my climate is a little bit different than most, say like if you live in Minnesota or the Northeast, you know, we, we have um, very mild winters here. Our spring temperatures tend to start a little bit earlier, although not this year, we've been, well, I guess it's what most of you consider spring, but spring to me is usually 75 and it has been like 60 and that's cold to me. But anyways, I actually really like this fragrance. This smells like a bouquet of flowers that I would have on my, my table centerpiece for Easter Sunday. This, there's greenery to it. It almost reminds me of like a, a grass greenery to it. But there is, there is the floral note in here, but again, none of them is just, none of these notes are particularly stand out and going to just bowl you over and be like, okay, you gotta blow that out. I absolutely love this scent and I am really excited to get to burning this one. All right, let's go ahead and talk about a Bath and Body Works scent that I 
think is really nice. Now, I believe that this is a new scent this year. Um, I went ahead and, uh, you know, some of these scents are ones that I have purchased in years past. And then others of these are new releases in 2023. And they are ones that I personally am excited to be burning. So this scent is under the magnolia tree. Now the packaging is really beautiful. This is from Bath and Body Works, by the way. I wasn't sure if I said that. The fragrance notes on this are magnolia petals, lemon zest, peach blossoms, and then they always say with natural essential oils. This one to me, it's funny because I do smell lemon in here and it's very much a, um, I want to say like a floral lemon. I, I could see this is not a, your bakery gourmand lemon type of scent. It's not even really, well, I wouldn't, I, I would say it's a clean lemon scent, although I wouldn't necessarily say it's like Lysol cleaner lemon, not like that at all. But I do get a little bit of that magnolia note in here because this is more of a floral lemon scent to my nose. I really like it. Now in full disclosure here, I have yet to burn this one yet because I've been trying to get through a lot of like, I'm trying to finish up a lot of those February scents, a lot of those um, like more like gourmand type of fragrances. But this one is in my lineup to actually start burning this week. It's very, very pretty. I really like it. Um, I'm not sure, I mean, this was part, I think, of like one of their first spring releases. I don't know how quickly Bath & Body Works like goes through a rotation on this, but if you happen to come across this in your local Bath & Body Works, pick it up, sniff it, tell me what you think, but I think that this is a beautiful spring fragrance. Let's see here. What else do I have? Um, let's go ahead and talk about another Homeworks candle that I really like for the springtime and this is a gourmand and it's actually funny because coconut is a scent that I typically um, associate with the summertime. However, when it comes to spring, coconut cake from Hallmark's Candles is one that I say is a spring scent because I associate the fragrance with Easter. Now, that is a holiday that my family celebrates. In fact, um, we don't even actually always call it Easter, we call it it's Resurrection Sunday for my family. Um, but this is very much reminiscent of a coconut cake that we have out. You know, my, my family, my kids love to make what we have like this little lamb mold that I make a cake in and then I let them go ahead and decorate a, a lamb. And so they'll put those little coconut flakes on there and the frosting and the jelly beans. They make little eyes out of the jelly beans. And I mean, <laughs> it's like one of those things like what you think it's going to look like on Pinterest and then your version, you're like, oh, that's a little suspect, but okay, the kids had fun making it. Um, this, that's what I think of when I smell this candle. Now the fragrance notes on this one are toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, baked cake, and pecan. Now I will say that this is not, you know, again, if you're like me and you think coconut, you think of being on the beach, you think of tropical fruity drinks. That's not what this is at all. There is a cake note to this. There's a little bit of the nuttiness from that pecan and the toasted coconut in here. It is an absolutely beautiful scent. This one has also been a very, very strong performer for me. If you are somebody who gets headaches from very strong gourmand scents, I would caution you and say that this might be a candle that you might want to burn with the windows open because it's very strong and it lingers in my house even after I blow it out. But it's one of my favorite fragrances to burn, actually particularly in the month of April, but again, you can burn it anytime you want and it is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a spoiler alert here of um, two Bath & Body Works candles that I have picked up recently. I will have a Bath & Body Works haul going up next weekend. So again, if you want to see what that is, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little sneak peek here of two, two candles that I picked up recently. They had a $13.95 candle sale, plus I had a 20% off coupon. So I went ahead and partook of that sale. Now, a candle that I feel like has been getting I was seeing some talk about it, some chatter about it over on social media. And I thought, okay, those fragrance notes look like ones that I would like. I went ahead and bought it blindly online. I did like a, a buy online pickup in store and I was really happy with it. This is vanilla and musk. Now, first off, I am loving this new aesthetic that Bath & Body Works is taking on where they're doing um, this like clean, neutral type of look. It's very pretty. And I like um, that they're doing this like blends series. Keep it up Bath & Body Works because I think you might be onto something here. 
This, this is a lovely fragrance. The fragrance notes on this are whipped vanilla, soft cedar wood, and suede musk. Now you wouldn't necessarily think smelling that like, oh, okay, that smells like a spring scent. I would say that if you are somebody that enjoys maybe more fresh or like cologne, you know, leaning slightly traditional masculine type of scents, this might be a good alternative for you. If you're not somebody who wants like crazy florals or anything like this, this is still a very, very nice scent for the springtime. It's a little bit lighter. It's not as heavy as like, you know, some of those darker, heavier, spicier, um, almost like boozy type of notes that we get from these traditionally masculine fragrances in the fall and winter. This is just a lightened up version. I smell a lot of vanilla in here. It's a soft cedar wood, almost like, you know, cedar wood, obviously it, it's from a plant, you know, so it, there is a slight, I almost want to say a slight floralness to this without it being, without you really recognizing that you're smelling a floral. Hard for me to describe that, but oh, I, I was burning this one yesterday and I really, really enjoyed it. And I thought, oh, that's one that I'm going to put in that top 10 because I think sometimes I'm trying to be a little bit more like offer something for everybody here. If you like florals, if you like citrus, if you like gourmand, um, I've just been trying to, you know, offer some other things. So in keeping with that theme, I have another Bath and Body Works candle. Sorry, I'm like reaching over here. I have them all right here in front of me. This is pink lavender and espresso. Again, this very clean line. I love the color packaging on it. It's this very soft, pale pink color. Now the fragrance notes on this are rich pink lavender, caramel, espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. Fun fact, I actually don't drink coffee. I love the smell of it, but I don't like the taste of it. I, I'm more of a tea drinker, but like I said, I love the smell of coffee. This this is beautiful because I, I do instantly get those espresso beans type of fragrance to it. But, but the lavender balances it out a little bit. I actually kind of have a hard time with straight up coffee scents. Um, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I find them, I don't know. I, I guess I just don't find them unique enough to want to purchase in my home. I figure I'm like, well, if I want something to smell like coffee, I'll just go ahead and go brew a cup for my husband and my daughter and <laughs> go on with my day. But this, this I love the combination with a little bit of that lavender. And I personally am not really somebody who is a lavender lover. Um, but lavender in and of itself is a floral, right? And so, like I said, you're seeing a theme here. Spring is pretty much the time when I associate more floral notes. And so I think that this combination, which is one that honestly I would have never put together on my own, is absolutely lovely. This is a very nice morning scent. You know, you get up and you're not yet quite ready for like full blown smack you in the face florals. You want something to kind of ground it out. This is a very, very lovely scent. So um, that's just a little bit of a spoiler alert for that Bath and Body Works haul. But I, I smelled both of those and I thought, oh yes, those are two candles that I would recommend, you know, taking a look at for this spring. All right, I think I've, let's see, I've talked about that one, that one. All right, I've talked about those. So I have three more candles to talk about here because this is a top 10. And the last three of these candles all belong to one brand. So full disclosure here, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there are other candles that I like. I've always said that I am not loyal to any one brand, but I do always want to give full transparency there that I am an ambassador. And um, I do think that Kringle Candle does do spring and summer fragrances particularly well. I feel like every brand kind of has their little niche of like, you know, we all know Bath and Body Works. They have some of the most classic fall scents and um, Homeworks does gourmands really, really well. Um, but Kringle, I feel like they have it nailed on the spring scents. So my top three scents just happen to be Kringle. Okay, we'll go ahead and start out here with Sicilian Orange. Okay, now, some of you may associate citrus fragrances with being more of a summer fragrance. I personally associate them more with spring. Um, I, summer, I'm more of tropical, pineapple, coconut, that kind of thing. So what I will say about this Sicilian orange candle is that it is not like your orange creamsicle or even like a fresh cut, you just cut into an orange scent. This is very much 
fresh orange with the greenery that would be on an orange tree. Now this is not orange blossoms. Orange blossom has a distinctly floral scent to it. That is not this at all. But this is very much, if you are familiar with Nest's, um, is it Sicilian Tangerine? Very, very similar fragrance profile here in terms of what my nose smells. It's orange, but there is a green note to this. It's absolutely stunning, very fresh. Again, another one of those scents that if you're doing some spring cleaning, um, this will make your home smell lovely. I get a lot of compliments on this candle every time I burn it. Um, I am the type of person just, you know, again, if you're coming across my channel for the first time, when I burn home fragrance, my goal is obviously I want to enjoy it, but I want to be setting a very welcoming and pleasing, um, like, I want to say aroma or aesthetic. I want people to feel welcome when they come into my home. I want them to come into my home and think, wow, it smells nice in here. I never want them to come in and be like, wow, her house is so perfumed that I have a headache and I never want to walk in there again. Um, but I just want people to leave my home maybe with a pleasant scent memory. And um, all of these candles seem to invoke that. So the next fragrance that I am going to talk about, and I feel like this one might be a little bit of a polarizing scent. It is Rosemary Lemon from Kringle Candle. Now, if you caught my top candles from 2022, this one was pretty high up there. I absolutely love this fragrance. If you are somebody that does not like rosemary, you won't like this fragrance. So you're probably not even going to be interested in it. However, if you are somebody that wants a, a clean, my house has just been completely deep cleaned for spring. I've got the windows open. Um, this almost gives me that like, I think of a beautiful spring day. My windows are open. There's a slight breeze and like the drapes just kind of flow in my mind. It, it reminds me of like, I don't know, like I'm in like Charlotte's Web or something like that. It just, there is just something so fresh about this candle that I love. And I'm not really somebody that leans towards fresh laundry type of scents, but this one just says, hello, welcome to my home. It's very clean. Anything you eat here has been prepared in a clean kitchen. Like it just, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it also for um, if you have cooked any kind of meals that have more of, um, you know, some lingering odors to it and you're trying to like get that out of here, this one seems to um, kind of pair nicely and get that fragrance out of here. So really, really love that one. All right, now I am going to share with you, just being completely honest here, this is my absolute favorite spring fragrance and it may surprise some of you because like I said, I'm not really a floral person, but let me tell you, when I go floral, I go really floral, okay? And the my, my favorite, favorite spring fragrance is fresh lilac from Kringle Candle. Now again, lilacs are a very, very heady floral, right? It's right up there probably with like rose, lily, um, very, very heady floral poppy. Oh, I just love this scent though. This is what the label says. It has a whole bunch of fragrance notes listed there. Listen, if you have ever had fresh cut lilacs in your home, this is it right here. Um, this smells much more authentic to my nose than um, the Bath and Body Works version, which is in the same name. This um, is very reminiscent. And one of the first candle reviews that I did on my channel, in fact, I think the first Kringle candle review that I did was on this fragrance. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of background here. I think one of the reasons why this one I have in such high regard is because when I was a child growing up, we had an orchard near us that grew fresh lilacs. I grew up in Southern California and um, they always came into bloom. I want to say like April, May. Now that, that might be a little bit different than some of the rest of the country, but again, remember the climate in Southern California is probably a lot different. Um, their climate there is actually, that California and Arizona have pretty similar springtime climates, um, but there was an orchard near us and my mom used to go and purchase those every spring. It makes me think of Easter time. She would go and get them and I can still see it. They, it, they had this, the orchard had been around for over a hundred years and they had this big 
wooden building and we would go in and they would wrap up, they, would, they were just freshly cut and they would wrap them in the newspaper and we'd bring them home and put them in a vase and they were on the mantle over our fireplace and they just made the room smell so beautiful. Now, I have shared this before that my mother passed away six years ago and so for me, this just unlocks a very pleasant and happy childhood memory for me. It's a way that um, it's just something that I associate with my mom. And, um, you know, we all know that fragrance is probably one of the things that triggers the most memories for us, right? Um, that I actually think that is the purpose of a lot of this as, as Josh over at Touch the Fire Twice would say, this is like, it reminds us of a space, a place, a time, um, a, a memory, you know, that's what fragrance does. And so for me, I do believe that that's probably why there's some of that bias for me towards this fragrance. But if you are somebody who loves lilac fragrances, then this is the candle for you because oof, there is just nothing more authentic. I do say that I, I wait until I can open up the windows on this one because it's very heady, it's very strong. Nonetheless, it's one that I have in my collection year after year. So that is it for my top 10 candle recommendations for the month of spring. Let me know in the comment box down below if any of these are some of your favorites or just let us know what is your favorite. You could even say like top three candles. Which ones are ones that you are like every spring I look forward to burning these or maybe you know, I picked up these new candles this year and I'm really excited to burn them. I would be curious to know. I actually do read every single comment down there. I try to respond to all of them. Um, I have said this over and over again, just because, um, you know, there's quite a few of us who talk about candles here in front of a camera, but you are part of the fragrance community and you giving feedback in that comments section is so beneficial, not only for those of us who are creating content on YouTube, but for the rest of the community, it's great to get feedback on how some of these candles smell to you, how they perform in your homes. I'm just one person. Connor's just one person. We all have different sized homes and preferences. And um, yeah, it's just fun to have that conversation going. Also, if you're just coming over here from Connor's channel, um, feel free to say hello down in the comment section down below. I would um, like to say hello back to you. So Whew, I have run out of words, I feel like. Um, I will make sure that if any of these candles are available for purchase, that I do have them linked in the description box down below. Um, the code Joyful Life will get you 15% off over at Kringle Candle. They did just release a lot of new spring candle scents earlier this week, and that code does work over there. I do know that Connor also has a channel over there, so whether or not, or not a channel, obviously Connor has a channel. Connor also has a code over at Kringle Candle. We are both um, Kringle ambassadors, and I know that we both share the sentiment of the of letting you guys know that that is an affiliate code. We do make a small commission on that if you choose to use our codes, but um, I know that for me personally, I just go ahead and turn that back into you know money that I can use to purchase more candles and give you guys some reviews on that. So whether or not you choose to use that, that's up to you. No hard feelings if you don't, but I just always like to be transparent there. Um, but yeah, I think most of these are actually still available for you. So if you're interested in any of them, I will make sure that they are linked in the description box down below. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up video or thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for being here today. Subscribe if you're new and want to stick around. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.